How vibrant can you make a painting? Sometimes when you're trying to push through to a new style of painting, it is great to ask yourself leading questions like how subtle can I make this painting or how bold can I make the painting? How much texture can this painting stand? Uh, how abstract can this painting go until it loses itself completely? So all sorts of powerful leading questions like that will help you push through to a new style. And today the question that I asked myself with this painting was how vibrant can I make it? Let's find out. Welcome to the studio. We're in New Zealand. I'm Richard Robinson and also welcome to Mimi Fongata Bay. Today I'm going to be demonstrating this painting which you'll see is a lot more vibrant and expressive than the actual photo of the scene itself. Now the cool thing about this painting is I actually used artificial intelligence to help me get it this vibrant. Now I'll show you how to do that in a minute. First I want to show you how these two photos turned into this painting design. To do that I used the painting app on the iPad called Procreate. Let's take a look. So here we are in the Procreate app. And this is the final sketch I've developed. Now let's look at the layers and how this was created. Here's the first photo that I used and the second photo I used. Now I really like the beach in this one. I like the curve of it, the color, and I like the boats in the foreground there, right? But the actual foreground where you're standing is not great. It's, it's not giving you anything to stand on as a as an observer of the scene, yeah? But this photo does have that cool track that's winding down to the beach and those nice little fence posts in the foreground. So I just wanted to combine these two photos. So the easiest way I thought to do that would be to put this one on top of that one and then delete some of that stuff. Yeah, just delete that stuff I didn't want. And leave the rest of that showing and that's pretty much what I did and then I, I went in and changed a few other things I made the hills in the background a little larger and that's simply because photography seems to shrink the uh, hills in the background or things in the background quite a lot more than the than our eye does right especially with a 35 mil lens which is what most cell phones are equipped with so you'll see in the video replay of this whole design coming together how I do enlarge those and change a lot of other stuff and paint right over the top of these two images to make a design that's ready to go to the easel another thing I want to show you first though is this so this was created in a app for my phone called wombo.art so you can go there to get this app and you can see down the bottom the text prompt that I entered here to this AI was simply tropical beach Bahutakawa. Bahutakawa is the name of that tree with the red blossoms on it and this is what it came up with which is pretty beautiful so I used this as part of my inspiration as I worked through the sketch I like the darkness of the underneath of the Bahutakawa's contrast with the red on the top and I like the painterliness of the whole thing so it was a little bit of a style inspiration I'll show you the recording now of how the sketch came together so that's the first photo going in and then you see it deleted the part of it so merging the two together and there's the background hills getting bigger filling in the gaps so I fill in the gaps all around and then basically start going at it with brushes and colors. Trying out different things all the time. Great thing about this is that it gives you freedom to just try all sorts of different things and on different layers so that if you don't like something that you've done, you just turn off that layer and it removes it from the image.
putting in the tree in the foreground, darkening the background, trying to be more painterly. Sometimes when I feel like it just gets too careful and detailed and precious, I just go at it with big brushes and uh, blur stuff and, and really try and let loose and see how painterly I can make it. And that's the finished sketch. One thing I did want to show you as well was that before I got to that level, it looked like that, right? And then I painted over the top, and you can actually see all the adjustments I made. Those are all the adjustments I made. So I'll show you in layers, this layer, and then I darken the foreground. You can see what a big difference that makes. It really pushes your eye through the shadowed area in the foreground into the light, colorful area in the midground and the distance. And then I added these changes over the top and that's the final sketch. So Procreate's a great app for you to paint with to come up with the designs. You can even do finished work on it at a really large scale and print that out. You could print it out on canvas and paint over the top of that if you wanted or just leave your work purely digital. You can do animation with this as well. It's really a beautifully built app for artists. So I highly recommend that. So that's how the design happened. Now let me show you how I used artificial intelligence to turn that sketch into this painting. Now if you saw the last painting course that I released, it's called Find Your Style in Seven Days which has been really popular, if I do say so myself. You might have seen how to demonstrate the process of finding your next best style. I first copied this style, then I used that style in a simple still life to really understand it. Then I changed a few style elements, and then I changed a few more style elements till I made this new vibrant style I was really excited about. So what I wanted to do next was take this style and use it in a slightly more complex subject like a landscape. So what I did was I took this photo of Mimi Whangara and I took this photo of the painting that I'd just done and I fed these into an AI and I said I want this scene of Mimi Whangara but I want it painted in this style and here is what it came up with. So this is a really useful way for artists to use AI so you can see how a scene is going to look in your own style before you even paint it. Today there are several AIs that will do this and each one will give different results. So if you go to just one AI like this one and try that out, um, it'll give you a result, right? And you click the button again and it'll give you a different result and you can keep doing that all day until you can really get a good feel for how your style might look in a, in a new scene. But not only that, there's all these different AIs that you can work with, right? So just go try it out and see where it leads you. And it doesn't mean that you have to copy blindly whatever the AI paints. It means that these are springboards for you to develop your work with. Now you can see it's way more vibrant than the sketch I made, right? And remember my question for this painting was, how vibrant can I make this? So what I did next was go to the easel, put these two designs in front of me, and began to paint, merging the design from one and the color from the other into one painting. If you'd like to see how the painting happened, that whole process, um, I'll give you a little preview now, but uh, if you want to get the full video, then just go to mypaintingclub.com and you can purchase the full lesson there where you can sign up for a one week free trial and sample the lesson and all the other lessons there if you want to give that a go. So it's painted in acrylics, but I also talk you through painting it in oil, so you can do that if you want. And the skill level is beginner to intermediate, and I show every brush stroke, all the color mixing, taking my time and explaining everything along the way, so you understand not just the how, but more importantly, the why, the reason behind each painting decision. It's a very powerful way to learn to paint better, faster. So I look forward to being your painting tutor and I'll see you on the inside. Visit mypaintingclub.com and sign up for the free trial for unlimited access to over 150 professional painting lessons, the monthly group workshop, student critiques and much more. All right so have fun with that and I'll see you on the next one.
Bis dann.